In this video, we're going to be having a look at the CARP protocol and high availability. We have a primary and we have a secondary router. The primary will configure first. You can see we've already got three interfaces. We need three interfaces, one for the LAN, one for the LAN, and one for CARP. CARP is used to communicate changes between the primary and the secondary. Let's have a look at CARP first, the CARP interface. We enable it. We've already given it a description of CARP when we, when we added it to the device. We'll give it a static IP address. In this case, it'll be 10.1.1.1/24, and we'll hit save and apply. And we'll do the same on the secondary. Uh, enable IPv4 10.1.1.2 for the secondary. Save and apply. Okay, you can see in the interfaces, this is the primary. We can see we've got a, a WAN IP address of 10.2 and a LAN IP address of 11.2, different subnets, and a CARP of an IP address of 10.1.1. And on the secondary, we have similar 10.3 for the WAN, 11.3 for the LAN, and uh, .2 for CARP. So let's set up CARP on the primary first. So we go to system, High availability, we enable, we're using the CARP interface. The secondary IP address is specified here. We repeat the IP address. The username on the secondary, or any user that is administrative on the secondary, will synchronize the admin account and will synchronize every other setting and hit save. Now we'll do the same on the secondary. Enable CARP. Specify the IP address of the master from the primary. And that's it. We don't configure anything else below that point. And we hit save. Now we go over to the firewall. We make sure that the CARP interface is allowing all traffic through. So pass CARP. Any, any, any. We'll log that and hit save and apply. Same on the secondary rules, up, pass, up, IPv4 and any, any, and we hit save. Now we need to configure a floating IP address to float between the two on the WAN side and again on the LAN side. This is uh, critical that you look at the diagram to get the details, but um, it's quite easy to configure. So we go to virtual IPs, go to add, select CARP on the WAN side first, a single IP, and we'll make that 192.168.10.10/24. This is the WAN side. Give it a password. A description up and save. We'll do the same on the LAN side. So cup LAN single IP. So it will be one nine two one six eight dot eleven dot ten slash twenty-four. Again a password. Just make that up, it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll say uh, and save and apply. Okay, we don't need to do that on the secondary. This will come across in the CARP update. So now we can go to status, CARP, and we can see that we're in a master state. We've got the two IP addresses on the two different um, interfaces. Those look correct. And we'll have a look on the secondary side. And we have a backup. It hasn't synchronized the other setting yet. There you go. It's synchronized both of them now. The, the PF sync nodes, they should be very similar on both the primary and the secondary, but not exactly the same. They're very similar. And as long as they're similar, you'll be all right. At this point, we're done. If the primary was to fail, 
or we were to pause it as a virtual machine, the secondary would obtain the IP addresses, the floating IP addresses, and take the role of the master until the master is brought back into production. That's it. Thank you.